This isn't too bad. Snowed. We're about to hit the trail. Undisclosed location. That's our super secret spot. Here we go. Off into this stuff. I'm gonna let Billy clear the way. Look at how we just walking through here. We cleared a lot of that. The snow off the branches. It's a winter wonderland out here. All right, we made it out to our little uh, secret destination where we've already got a fire pit. We've got some amenities out here. Long story. Um, it's also used by other people, obviously, because there's some new stuff out here that wasn't here the last time we were here. It's been, I think last year we came out, we kayaked out here because there's a river right here that goes by. Uh, so now we're just collecting wood, getting the fire going. Then I'm going to uh, fire up the Simple Theory gear stove again. I'm going to do biofuel in it. And I'm going to make up a special treat today. We're going to do a wood burn here. I've got these little, uh, these little fire lighters. So you just fluff it up like that. Light that with a with a lighter. We're gonna get this going. So I'm gonna be making uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Pulled pork I have. It's just a uh, great value. I saw this at Walmart and I thought I would give this a shot. So it's already got barbecue sauce in it. You can eat it right out of the package. I figure I'll just heat it up in some water, but I'm gonna need a bun and I don't have any buns with me. So I brought some bannock mix from home. So I'm gonna whip together some bannock. I'm gonna make myself a bun and then I'm gonna heat up the, uh, the pulled pork and have myself a sandwich. Let's see how this works out. So mix and bannock, it's not an exact science here. Um, my bannock is pretty basic. It's got some salt in it. It's also got some garlic powder. So I'm going to make it in this Ziploc bag. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And I figure what I'll do is I will make two buns. I'll make the bottom and then the top bun. I think I might need most of this here. And then I'm going to keep a little back. Just in case. Just in case I had too much water. It's always the trick with Bannock. So it's really easy to add too much water. So start with a little. I'll mix it up right in this bag. And if I put too much water in... Then I'll just add some more for my little container. You want a good dough consistency. You could use just a little bit more. Hmm. A little water for the cook. Pretty close, just a little bit more water. Keep an eye on the Simple Theory gear stove. Got some sticks sticking out of the top of it. I'm gonna make sure that they all get inside as they burn down. So I've got a nice bed of coals. And then I'm gonna put this onto a cast iron skillet that I have. Oh, it smells good. Garlic. Love that garlic. That actually looks pretty good. 
So I've got my little lodge. This is a uh, lodge six and a half inch cast iron. Picked that thing up at Walmart for under 10 bucks. Not a bad deal. Gonna put a little oil in the pan. So it doesn't stick. And the bannock means just a little more mix in there. Use that as a flour to prevent it from sticking to my fingers, which it's going to stick to my fingers anyway. Mm. Try to make this into a dough ball here, as I am just making a huge mess here. This is going to be the worst misshapen bannock ever. It's not too bad. The consistency is... No. Alright, so I've made myself a little dough ball here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get another one out of there, because I can fit two in this pan. See what the squirrels and the raccoons are going to love this, because I've just got bannock everywhere. This is what you end up with sometimes, right? And it's going to be a small additional bun here. And you get it everywhere. I mean, look at me. I don't know if you can see this. It's, it's everywhere. But we just had some snow, so look at that. Easy cleanup. Oh, that wasn't easy at all. <laughs> here is my bannock. I'm going to go over to the simple theory gear stove I have over here. Got a nice little bed of coals in there. And we're just going to set that right on top. The heat up. Cook that bread. So I only have two pieces of bannock. So I'm just going to do one package of this pulled pork. My plan is, is just to put it in this little cup. I'll tear open the corner, throw some water in, and I will heat this up on the Simple Theory Gear stove after the bannock's done. So I've got this ready to go. I'm going to check on the bannock. I threw some other sticks here on the side. Kind of keep it going. And then I've got my, my full Windsor titanium spatula here that I will use to flip the bannock as it gets cooking. Let's see how the bannock's doing. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Let's get this flipped over without losing it. Too bad looking there. This little cast iron fits perfectly on this Simple 30 Gear XL stove. Still not too bad. Not bad at all. I think I'm almost ready to pull these off. All right, this cast iron should hold the heat. Keep that nice and warm for me. Move it off to the side. And I'm gonna put this on the, the top level. And I've already opened up the pouch. Let's set that up there. And we'll let that heat up that pulled pork. We'll let that stay nice and warm in the pan there. Feed a little more wood in there to get that water boiling. All right, my water's up to temp. It's not a rolling boil yet, but it's got, uh, I would say it's almost a soft boil. 
So I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to go ahead and put these back on the fire and the coals just to warm up the buns. So let me swap those around. And I'm just going to take this uh, the pulled pork and just put it right on top of there. Oh, it's nice and warm. It's going to be a little bit messy, I'll tell you that. Yep, I think this might be a fork meal. We'll give it a shot. Move this over to the table. It does look really good. All right, let's give it a shot. It is uh, it's definitely going to be messy. But it is nice and warm and cooked. Mmm. Oh, the, the garlic and the bannock is good. Pulled pork is surprisingly good for coming from a pouch. Mmm. This actually turned out really good. Simple Theory Gear Stove at uh, their Pack Stove XL. Perfect for supporting this little cast iron pan. Easy way to make a meal out here when I'm in the woods. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions on things you want me to make when I'm out in the woods, I would gladly like to see those in the comments below. I really enjoy getting out and doing this stuff. So uh, it's it's absolutely beautiful. It turned out to be a great day and another great meal. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.